So are you thinking about getting your first tattoo, but there's a big problem and that is you're afraid of needles and now you're kind of too scared in your head to go ahead and finally book that tattoo appointment that you've always wanted to get. If so, then this is the video for you because we're going to be going over and comparing both these types of needles. You got the ones that your doctor uses on you all the time. And then you got the one that your tattoo artist uses on you all the time for tattoos and the appointment. Hopefully by the end of this video, you're going to be seeing a huge difference between both of them. And it'll give you the motivation to finally go and book that tattoo that you've always wanted. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome in this channel. We pretty much talk about all things that are tattoo related but most importantly my journey towards getting amazing tattoos and working towards a full body suit now i recently just got my hand done i got another tattoo coming very soon for you guys but i also got something very special as well in terms of my overall journey towards getting that full body suit that you guys do not want to miss so go ahead subscribe join the community but let's get to today's video guys let's go So if you go and talk to somebody that's never had a tattoo before, you'll probably hear one of these quotes come out of their mouth. I can't get a tattoo. I'm just too afraid of needles. Or I almost fainted getting my last needle. I could never make it through a whole tattoo appointment. Or I can't do one needle, let alone all of those. I actually had one person in particular talk to me about this. And it really got me thinking. And I also realized that I had both of these needles kind of used on me in a short period of time. I went and got my vaccine done that uses the typical hypodermic needle. And then I also had my tattoo done on my hand that uses all the assortment of needles that your tattoo artist will use. And it really got me to realize that both of these needles are totally different in themselves. So now let's go ahead and talk about these hypodermic needles that you are all afraid of and seem to always compare to a tattoo needle. Now these hypodermic needles are usually used by medical professionals like doctors, dentists, pharmacists, and they uh, usually do one of two things. They're either used to put something in you or take something out. So the hypodermic needle is something that we usually see a lot of throughout our lifetime. I'm gonna throw two pictures up for you guys right here and you guys can see the differences in these needles. They're totally different in terms of how they're constructed and how they're kind of used and kind of put into the body and all that. So with the hypodermic needle, you're gonna see that these needles are gonna have a hollow canal through the middle of them. The next thing that you're gonna realize and see and that you can easily tell is the sharp end that these have. They usually have a nice sharp beveled edge to them and that is obviously used to kind of you know, pierce the skin and go through all the tissues to kind of get into the muscle. And I love shows and how they make this look so scary. They'll usually put like a glimmer or a shine off the edge of it when they go and they're ready to put it into the body. And that's why I feel like a lot of us are scared. But something else we're usually scared of is the length of the needle head as well. They can run anywhere from like three eighths of an inch all the way up to three and a half inches. And that, uh, that can get quite long to see something go in your body, right? So I understand why a lot of people may be scared. And then finally, you're only usually able to use one of these needles one at a time. Now, when we go ahead and look at now at a tattoo needle, the way they look is totally different. This one looks a lot different than this one in terms of this one doesn't have a hollowness to it as the hypodermic did. This one looks more like a needle head that you either use for like sewing or almost like a toothpick. The next thing as well, it doesn't have that beveled edge. Again, it kind of has that more pointiness. And then finally, these ones you can either sometimes use as a single needle, but usually you'll find an artist use a bunch of assorted needle heads that range in different kind of bundleness of needles. You'll usually have rounders, mags, and you can have one needle on them, three, five, nine. The ranges can go anywhere. So usually you'll have a lot more piercing you opposed to the hypodermic needle that only uses one at a time. So now let's talk about how it enters the body and how it goes in and how it stays and how deep it goes into the body. So with the hypodermic needle, again, you have that long needle head that usually ranges from three eighths all the way up to three and a half inches. And then it goes, it has that beveled edge. It pierces the skin on usually an angle. And that usually ranges from about one to 1 1.5 inches into the body. And then you usually have the syringe that usually injects you with the the fluid or you have something that's taken away the blood and uh, you usually left feeling like a weird sensation from either or that are usually done on the body now with how needles from tattoo needles are done it's a little different in terms of, again how deep they go how they're injected and how things stay in so with that they usually go about two millimeters into the skin it usually stays in the dermis layer you have three layers you have the epidermis the dermis and the hypodermis and how it stays in the body is totally different because again there is no hollow middle so how does it get into the body well it uses a sort of vacuum method in terms of the needle will pierce the skin at a fast rate and when it is pulled out 
It creates this vacuum and it creates this loss of air where that ink now once it gets sucked in as fast as it can, kind of fills that void with the ink and then you are left with ink that's stuck in that middle layer of the dermis and that's how ink is delivered and how tattoos are made and created. And that is the difference in terms of how they both work. Now let's talk about which one is more painful because I'm sure a lot of you are wondering that and um, I hate to scare you guys. I hate to be the one to bear uh, bear bad news, especially because this whole video I've been saying not to worry, don't be afraid. They're two totally different things. The uh, tattoo needle is gonna hurt much more. And there's a lot of reasons to this is obviously, you know, you're gonna have more needles puncturing you at a much faster pace over a longer period of time. And it can be anywhere on the body usually. With a hypodermic needle, usually these go into like a nice belly kind of muscle area, either your arm, your ass, your leg. So those ones, you don't really feel it as much as say somewhere like you're gonna get tattooed right on bone. You feel the vibration a lot more and usually it hurts a lot more. And yes, it hurts more, but it's a different type of pain. And uh, there are a lot of things that you can uh, kind of change and make better for you in the long run. You can choose the area that you want to get tattooed. You can choose the size and placement. If you don't want to get it on bone, you don't got to get it on bone. You can get it in a nice belly area like the shoulder and it won't hurt as much. Also, I do believe that a hypodermic needle, that pinch you get, if you were to have that same pinch at the same rate as the tattoo, that hypodermic needle would hurt a lot more over the same period of time at the same pace. So although yes, you get a lot more with the tattoo needle, the pain difference, if you were to put them side by side, one for one, I do believe that that needle would hurt a lot more because it is going deeper and you are being injected a different way. Now also, you gotta think of it as, you know, mentally you want to get a tattoo you're going out to get a tattoo you're kind of putting your mind into it already saying that this is going to hurt a bit i'm going to get it done though and you're kind of preparing yourself for it nobody likes to go and get needles your mindset is a little bit different and you see that long needle with that long sharp beveled edge it's totally different in how it looks and it's a lot more scarier so your mentality is totally different going into each type of needle and then finally with a tattoo Usually after a couple minutes, your body realizes that it's a type of pain and it gets adjusted to it. And over the next couple hours, it doesn't hurt as much as it initially did. And you realize it didn't hurt much overall. Go and talk to anybody that has tattoos and they'll tell you the exact same thing. That these two types of needles are totally different in terms of the pain that you receive and you feel. Just because you're afraid of that one needle of the hypodermic needle does not mean you should be afraid of getting that tattoo because it uses needles as well. Totally different. Go ahead, book that appointment get that tattoo, send it to me. I would love to see it. I would love to hear that, you know, Justin, you helped me in terms of, you know, overcoming that fear of needles and realize that it wasn't as bad as it actually was. I would love to hear that from you guys so much. Go ahead and comment in the comment section. Let me know if uh, you are afraid of needles before you start getting tattoos. And if you realize that once you start getting tattoos, if it was totally different than what you thought it was. Also go ahead, subscribe so you don't miss any other tattoos or that special thing that I have coming for the bodysuit. And I'll see you guys next week. Like always, Justin out. Later guys.